this dude. God, that suit. My it's God. a crime against fashion. Your sentence Hi, is death. Hi, Jean. Thank goodness you're here. Things are a mess. This could have real negative repercussions in an election year. <clears throat> uh, it's a private matter and an unfortunate accident. Oh the press will keep out of it. I've seen to that. Stand up straight. I could always count on you, Gene. Make yourself at home while I tidy up some papers. Just ring for Alistair if you need anything. Take all the time you need. He looks like a nerd who like watched an anime and was like, that's what looks good. No, he looks like a used car salesman. <laughs> who is like, yeah, probably, who probably drinks on the job. Oh, chore update. Yeah, we gotta do our chores, man. That's cool. Because there's no way a good I, little boy like us would ever do anything bad. I kind of, I nerd out on things like that, including video games, because, I don't know. It feels good. It feels good. I'm like, oh, I'm cleaning. Yes. So I just want to point out that we're in a mansion, and our parents are pretty rich. I gotta say. Not uh, impressed with not the room? Not impressed with the room. The room kind of sucks. Like, he's a six-year-old boy, and like, what? We're going to bring our friends over to this? With the teddy bears, bears on, on the, the wall. wall. Like, like, no wonder he's killing people. Mm -hmm. Mom, give me some cool shit. I get that he's three years old, but uh, come on, man. Look at this desk that we have. He's six. I know. Okay. The hell is this bullshit? No, no, no. I'm saying, like, that's the type of desk, and it, that is an adult desk. I know. You that's know? what I'm saying. Like, and look at his toys. They're all, like, baby toys. Do they... <sighs> We look, and this ha this mansion's really big. And look at the parents' room. This is their room? Yeah, I think this is the parents' room. Oh, wow. Room. They have a microwave in here? What? No, that's a TV. Oh, that's a TV. I was like, cool, a microwave in your room. Oh, I never went out here. Wow. See? Look at this house. A rail. A rail. Sure we're gonna kill someone with that later but look at this house look how awesome it is wow I'm and then you know look at this room and then you know look at our room some shitty closet i think that this is probably like it was our baby room you know probably and maybe they just haven't upgraded it since we're what does mom do all day other than just whatever no what this i'm just saying it's their fault that he's killing people because they didn't give him Did they, nice stuff. Is his name Lucius? Yes. They named him Lucius. Can't you see I'm performing a delicate operation here? Why don't you go downstairs and watch TV or something? This is what this kid wears on the daily. I kind of like it, though. Don't worry, Lucius. Mary is now in a much better place, along with her husband. Oh, okay. Oh, so I don't get to kill her husband. Okay. Anyway, I'm just holding this lock, Mom. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Is that a safe? If you don't, um, this right here? Yeah. Oh, it's a meat locker for some reason. Oh. If you yeah. don't do your chores, she'll be, like, naggy about your chores, which is, like, kind of good parenting, I guess. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, so what we want to do here... I've only played an hour in, so once we get an hour in, I'm going to be completely lost. Okay. See I mean, that cross just... over here? Yeah. It's making me weak. Yep. I can, uh... There we Turn. go. Yes! <laughs> 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 I was like, oh, do, do we, like, take it down and put it in a cupboard or something? No! no we turn it upside we down. We turn it upside down. Oh my god. Um, so we're gonna kill that guy. Yeah, of course. By having him smoke a thing. So what we're gonna do is... You know, if, if, hold on, look in the notebook. I wanna see what the notebook says. Oh. Because it should... He visits my father sometimes for business. I hate when he smokes in the dining room. It gives me a headache. So I'm guessing that we'll look here for f clues about... How to kill him. Yeah. Yeah, how to kill people. So, you can go through this a few times until you can figure it out, or you can just take the screwdriver. Because if you take his matches, he'll come in here and he'll light this to, sm to light his cigarette. Mm -hmm. So you gotta, you gotta fuck with it. 
Oh, we've been spotted by mom. We got spotted. Game over. We gotta start over. She's like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm fixing it, mommy. <laughs> it's, a, it's important to appear as a good boy to everyone. Oh, we have to watch all this it's okay. again? Hold on. Cool. Cool. Oh, Don't worry okay. about it. All right. But we gotta do our chores again. Oh, oh, God. Damn it. Ah, it's like, <laughs> why do I even try? Mom. Mom. God, you're next. What? Nothing. You know, there's been some pretty good uh, lore podcast episodes about, um... I think Children there was, killers? Well, there was one about, like, a child who is, like, they, it's like, you know, you can't come right out and say, like, the child's the killer, you know? But, um, people were, pe weird things were going on, and the child was like, I just have this doll. It's fine. Oh, that thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fucking, that kid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I watched this really sad documentary. It's, like, super old, but, you know, you've ever seen Child of Rage? No. So, like, you've watched the first part, and you're like, oh, my God, this girl's so messed up. But then she starts talking about why she is the way she is. Mm -hmm. And you feel really bad. And it's, like, it it's kind of, like, reminds you that you can't judge anybody, especially children. Because she was acting out in very violent and very, like, ooh yeah. ways. Yeah, yeah. But she, she was, like... And then she, like, you know, becomes recovered, and she gets, like, really sad, and she's, and they're like, well, what happened, well, who are you hurting the most when you act like that? And she's like, I'm hurting myself. And it's just, like, it was really, really sad. Mm. But it, like, it totally teaches you, like, you really cannot judge little kids. Well, because, yeah. You don't know what's going on. Like, I remember... One of my friends in school, like, they were worried that he was showing signs of, um, psychopathy because he picked up one of the rabbits and was holding it and staring at it. Mm. But he wasn't. He, he, he didn't have psychopathy. He, he was, uh, autistic, so he didn't know why the rabbit was squirming. Oh. So they had to explain it to him, and once he, they explained it to him, he felt, like, really bad. Yeah. He just was looking at it because he didn't understand... Why what was, the rabbit was squirming? What was going on? He was holding it by its ears, and he didn't know why. And everyone was like, "Oh no!" But he just didn't know. Yeah. Cause like that's just like the way it was. So they they just had to explain it to him. And once he understood that, he was like, "Oh shit!" Also, he was really little when that happened. Yeah. Also, um, something that is important to be remembered is that just so I remember having a conversation with some somebody where they were talking about. Um, <sighs> Well, there you are, Lucius. Let me look at you. I believe you've grown since I last saw you. We're talking about what? <laughs> so they were talking about how, like... Have you seen my matches? <laughs> consent, basically teaching consent, like it's just common sense, and so blah, 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 blah. And I was like, well... Most people don't know what it is. I was like, but the thing is... Have you seen my matches? You can't assume that just because it is common sense for you that it's common sense for everybody because not everybody grows up with your background so like and it's the same thing in sociology like looking at other cultures like you can't take your values and morals and like automatically assume that other people have the same ones or at least are aware of yours yeah are you being aware of theirs too mm -hmm. check on this <laughs> oh. Slow motion too. Oh, no. <laughs> oh god! Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this game is awesome. This uh, this is we're refreshing after Alice when we're not the victim anymore. <laughs> Look at us. Are we just gonna stand there? No, I didn't do anything. I did my chores. Huh. What can I say, Mr. Wagner? This is a real unfortunate series of events. Quite uncanny. Jean was my campaign manager and a friend of the family for many years. A 
we lost without him. I know this must be a difficult time for you, but we really must do an investigation here. I'll need to speak to your handyman about the gas leak. This shouldn't have happened. I had a feeling there was something weird going on in that house. I couldn't quite yet put the pieces together, so I took a step back for a while this let it like brew. My mind. And after a few weeks, the call came in. Just when things were getting back to normal, there had been another accident in that godforsaken house. It happened on a rainy day. I think it was Tuesday. The janitor, who was known to be quite the drinker, was fixing a bathroom in the Lower West Wing. MacGuffin. I can't get over that name. MacGuffin? Hey. I'm Detective MacGuffin. Hey, I'm Detective MacGuffin. Isn't that like a trope name? The MacGuffin? It, it just, I don't know if it sounds... Hello, Lucius. Hi, Devil Daddy. Again. What's up? Hello. You've been doing very well, haven't you? Thanks, Dad. But I must teach you some of the more, let us say, subtle arts which you can use. You can train your mind to move objects at your will. Here, let me show you how. <laughs> Do you know what Magu a MacGuffin is? What is it? It's an object or device Excellent. in a movie or book that serves merely as a trigger for the plot. Ah, that's what I was like. I know that MacGuffin is a trope. It's but... a thing. Yeah, because I was like, it sounds so familiar. It's, but it's, it's British. Very good. <laughs> it's a yeah. It's a plot device Excellent. in the form of some goal, often with little or no narrative explanation. <laughs> So, Detective MacGuffin. So, it's pretty freaking hilarious that they named him Detective MacGuffin. And almost certainly not an accident. Very good. Start machines. Now you know what to do, my son. You must continue with your mission and bring me souls. But show no mercy. Hey, Daddy. This is great. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I'm glad you're liking it. 